When I tell you reason is a beast, reason is a be reason skip beast mode and went straight to Hulk in a reference term. People are asleep on reason. Like I said, reason is a totally different beast. I've been rocking with reason since version two. I got 10 now. I'm a little hurt that the upgrades that came with 11 was not what I was expecting. And one day I'll go over maybe the top 10 things that maybe Reason should implement into the program. And I know I went from Studio One to this program. And if anything that you should know about me is that I use everything to my ability to create an end result. So the fact that I've been blessed to have these programs and I know we all had crack programs and crack VSTs, but I've acquired a lot of things in my time based off of patience and based off of, I mean, I've, I've worked my nine to five. I have my free spending money. And if I choose to want to purchase something, I can't do that. But you have a lot of programs, especially Ableton that comes with stock, Ableton and FL Studio. They have stock programs that are excellent. And Studio One is progressing. It's the, the whole community of Studio One. I can see it doing bigger and better things. Hopefully their next update will blow everyone away and maybe make other dolls and programs step their game up. And then you think about it, how much further can you go with a digital program that emulates the actual atmosphere of a doll? Maybe that's the same door that Waves is knocking on with the emulation of the sound room that if you have this sound and it's in that environment and it's coming through your headphones, how would it sound if it's in a million dollar studio? You know, would it sound muffled? Will it sound bleak? Will it sound whatever? Just the just the things to think about the concept. But with this, if you are in reason and real quick, number one, reason has the best sounds I've ever heard. The best pre-programmed factory sounds, leads, bass, drums, piano, everything, okay? Even in keys and chords, you have so many options, and in those options, you have so many more options. Um, I've been lucky enough to acquire a bunch of refills, and I can't remember where I got them from. I can't remember how I got them. I've had them ever since version five, if that makes any sense. And I ran across an old um, external drive that I had. And I noticed that I had a ton of these pianos. And I used to thrive on like, man, I'm in FL Studio. And I took the FL Studio piano or, you know, I got the expand and all this. And, and I, I mean, they've been sitting here this entire time. So I guess the other part would that be no matter what doll you're in, look at everything that you have. Look at everything that they give you to offer. Even Cakewalk, the saturation plugin that comes with it, the tape emulation, the console effects that comes on the on your instrument tracks, the chain itself, it gives you a nice EQ, everything. The only issue that I'm having with Reason is Cakewalk right now. And that is because I'm able to share their devices, but when I load up, say, the bass guitar, and I think early in the video, I pulled up this bass guitar in Studio One and you see it gave the GUI. I can't get the GUI on here. So if anybody knows to fix it at or knows if there is anything that could be done to change it, leave a comment below um, or leave a link or whatever. Because me personally, I would like to know. I do not know everything. I'm always forever learning, but I would love it still works. But you just can't change the different uh, selections that it has in there, which that hurt me, like not hurt me. I'm gonna live, I'm gonna be all right. But if you're in the piano roll and reason, same instance, right? I would suggest that you get all of the distractions out the way, that you resize it, and that you do the same thing except beautiful pianos beautiful pianos except all the way over here to the right 
there is two selections here change note edit mode and note lane performance parameter automation so I know a lot of people thrive in FL studio to say oh man we can do 808 slides <laughs> I, I might put the little the thing that I got up there. shout out to him going crazy with the 808s but you can also do it in here and that all just details in when you get to that point that you know either you're doing it on your pitch wheel or you have something else to do maybe a um, like a what is it auto tune or something of that nature that you can adjust the parameters down here because once you add whatever once you click on it it'll give you the options especially what knobs you want to adjust with buttons effects and all that so every dog gives you the ability some of them just don't have the good the glam and you know the, the special buttons the shiny special win album mode type of look to it sometimes it's just a very simple binary HTML uh, concept like a reaper and this is what I really will want reason to try to think about the next uh, upgrade and now they give you the option whether it's in the same instrument lane or it's uh, selected over here they consider these to be the ghost notes right so right now I am in the scale lane and as you see I can move that one so if I edit this one I go over and edit this but if I happen to click on one of the scale notes it takes me back to that one that is a headache it is a good thing to use for some instances but if you're in the mode of trying to create a piano or a chord progression then that's a headache you have players where you can have the scale and we're at a minor best thing is that I will use this as to keep reference of different scales you can adjust the scales you can add and take away notes um, if you record this let's get rid of this one this one let's just record something quick It's probably a horrible piano. This, this is probably not the best piano to make this uh, case on. So let's uh, change this piano. This cocktail looks. This, this is why I really feel in. This is why I bought the full version of Reason over any other program. Mad scientist mode. This is this is my <laughs> Dr. Hickle and Hyde, Jekyll and Hyde of programs. Just a side note for that. So don't just come into a program, especially like for reason thinking like, man, I don't see, you know what I'm saying? Put the gross beat on, take a program for what it is. For us that use the program or use it religiously, then yes, we have some like, man, why can't we get that? Why can't we, we already have Ableton Link, so why can't we get the ability to use some of Ableton's functionality such as pulling the the chords from and, and I'm just I'm pandering on that because I, I really love that I really wish that reason would figure something out before 12 or version 13 or like tomorrow if you see this video tomorrow will be real nice I'm, I'm not pushing or pressing or thinking that it can happen or that it can but if you know if you if you really want to set the community on fire, you know, I, I would even personally say you kind of owe us because you took Ali Upa away. I'm just saying, you know, other programs they got the ability to upload to either BandLab or SoundCloud. But you know, well, wouldn't it be something if you have a dis distro kid or the ability to drop your whole album on the streaming services such as Apple Music, Amazon, or Spotify? Just saying. Um, 
but in here you go to show devices and it shows what's underneath the hood i love that let's just say these are your simple keyboards that you buy not your phantom not your um motif nothing like that this is simple keyboards okay and within these simple keyboards you have all these samples of one particular note so if i have that one selected and i right click and edit sample now this right here remember I was just talking about that in these sound fonts they have four well I'm sorry one two three four five they have five samples this has uh, three different sections I know you can probably do this in other programs, but that would take up a lot of information, a lot of CPU. It doesn't a reason. It is the reason it's reason. The very same thing that it looped at the end. You couldn't tell if it had a fade on it, if it, but you can see where this one is looping at. So if I play it, this is what we got. You know, it, that click and pop. It's a way to fix it, but it's more work. Reason offers a lot just in bass drums itself. And I know people say like, man, it don't sound like this, it don't sound like that. Well, I guess this is why they gave you uh, all of these here uh, effects. And side note, I don't know if anybody's ever said it. Uh, I'm not trying to uh, disregard them saying it, but just with a kick drum, try putting a pulverizer on it. EQ it to taste and put a gate on it to take some of the you want to put a little compression on it then put the gate on it just to catch some of the, the lingering transients and then once you do that bypass it and you can tell the difference doesn't matter what kick you use because you're going to EQ based off of the frequencies that you're uh, dealing with after you do that start messing around with the parameters of the pulverizer now the fundamental tone of a kick drum is around 40 to 44 62 to about 80 hertz get get at a try that's this extra bonus right there i don't already made this video super long hour and a half back to the piano and the piano roll and reason i noticed that people said well these two are basically useless you can't do anything with them you can take either the no echo or the arpeggio and the difference that it makes is if you put it after the chords or before place it after and pick a pick a unique patch that's a lot going on and i got a lot of notes playing So, same thing before. I already have this in eight bars. Let's stretch this out to 16. Drum roll, please. I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just trying it out just as much as I'm recording. Pretty much. You get the concept, right? But just don't stop there. Find a groove, find a, a pocket that you want this to fit in. Be a mad scientist. Do the keys go up that far? Not even nice. I'm gonna try to. What would a minor repatch sound like that? And then we'll turn on one of the harps. When I tell you reason is a beast, reason is a be reason skip beast mode and went straight to Hulk and Zeus and and look ain't nobody ain't nobody touching God. But in a reference term, people are asleep on reason. And the reason being is because I think nobody wants to do the work anymore. 
everybody wants everything fast and handed to them i spent almost two hours if that actually going through this whole process also i can't remember where i got this from youtube is pretty much what the encyclopedia and doing book research was to me uh, in my younger days so the fact that i learned how to change the clutch fluid and crochet in the same day within an hour people that put out valuable content i appreciate you but i got the idea from someone that said that when you are whatever program you're in that you give yourself snippets of the files that you did so if this was a whole file this was you know tons of tracks a lot of stuff going on and i named it something stupid or something simple something that i wouldn't remember i would spend a lot of time searching for it and i'm pretty much guilty of that because i have folders after folders and songs after songs that when you save a file pick a small selection or a loop area of it and bounce that audio and save it within the same file when i'm coming back and i'm finna open up another uh song i did this on purpose so that i can surprise myself when i actually come back to it because i did a lot of these in the demo version of nine before i upgraded and some of them are files that are been migrated from reason five six seven on up through the line since i uh, uh, upgraded each time but let's say that there were missing vscs there were rack extensions files got moved things are missing stuff like that if i put a little snippet of it just by sound okay i know what that is I know exactly what that is. Wow, that's crazy, I picked this one. So this is a song actually that I had my wife and my daughter sing. It's, it's funny how things happen. I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that. Always remember, put God first, and the thing that you love will never feel like work. Best part is my baby is on here singing, and my babies, but my baby girl is on here singing, and what she said, she didn't want to do it. She didn't want to sing, and she did it anyway. But let me see. I will give him praise. That part with this he me it just it added it just it's almost like they said i would give him praise and then the instrument said thank you it's, anyway have a blessed day um i'm kind of in upload mode i got free time as you can see my place is being empty i've never recorded that long i never recorded that long uh and by saying that I know it's going to be very long to try to edit stuff out, which I might not. So forgive me for the long, lengthy video, but I just hope that you got something from it. I hope that you, you know, if you did watch to the end, I thank you. God bless you. But even if you got so expired in the first five minutes, first five seconds, and you jumped into um, your doll, you jumped into whatever you have going on creative, or you decided to take this step and actually, uh, decided to get rid of all the excuses like Gary Vee said document every day just document just document document and you're gonna have hiccups but I, I don't want to sell you short I don't want to sell you a bunch of BS this is pretty much me 100% my closest thing to identifying the grace and mercy of God is how I feel about music and art and it's there I feel it I can't explain it I can't put it into to any grasping situation that is easy just as telling somebody turn the channel is is there and when i hear this that is that is more powerful than any is something and my only request you know is that you search and you find what god has for you he believes in you we may have all the information wrong. We may have the labels wrong or something like that. But the things that attest and testify to your spirit, you can't get that wrong. You'll never get that wrong. 
and people call it intuition people call it gut feeling you know when you know and like i said this right here i can i think where i started from i don't want to i don't want to start preaching i'll start shouting in a minute but i i think where i started from and having two tape recorders and record that on tape and play it while i get another tape and record the while i'm playing my horn and then take that with both of those playing erase what i played on the first tape machine and then play that while i play something else i mean so a lot of people want to get straight to the end but i love the process and i if i if i give you anything whether it's in a piano roll whether it's in a different uh doll program enjoy the process because you only get one life so whatever it is if you are a professional knitter enjoy the process you don't want to live with regrets and you also don't want to lay in your final resting place full of ideas and full of hopes and dreams and it's just it will it, it will be a terrible tragedy aside from the loss of life so live your life in whatever you can do be there for each other help each other out i appreciate you hanging in for the long haul be humble be grateful and live your life living your best life just do you don't worry about nobody else man it's crazy i picked that one Hey guys, be sure if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like this, share it. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button.